Hi ladies, this is Elisa and Sawyer here for a update about my little boy here. Can you say hi? Hey. <laughs> so he's going to be joining us, but probably in the background because I don't think that he is going to sit here and actually pay attention. Oh, because he's one and on the move. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sorry about that. He will be here in the background. <laughs> so, what has been going on with Sawyer? <laughs> he, this is his play mat. Um, if you guys don't know, this is my desk area. This is his play mat with his letters. We have way too many toys lined up here. These are his little, like his little library where all of his books, they never stay that neat. He usually rips them off. <laughs> Where are you? He's like right behind me. So his, so much has changed since you guys probably last saw Sawyer. He is now 14 months old. <laughs> 14 months old and we cannot keep him in a single place. Um, even though that is his play mat, he has made this entire side of the house his. <laughs> Who am I talking to? <laughs> uh, he, he he gets iPhones and FaceTime now, so <laughs> now he now he's trying to fight me. Another fun <laughs> development with Sawyer. You want to say hi? <coughs> yeah. No, I just I just want to eat you, mom. You and your hair. <laughs> Hold okay, so, <laughs> Had to settle him and put him a little bit deeper onto the mat. So, <laughs> Sawyer, physical developments. He weighs nearly 24 pounds. And he's taking his ball and hitting it against the window, which he knows is naughty. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This video is going to be a little crazy and disjointed. So, stats. I don't remember how tall he was. Sawyer. Hey. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. It's naughty. Hey. <laughs> anyway, so, and he has five teeth, three on the top and two on the bottom. But he, so he's got the two over here and one over here, but he is putting a tooth, um, cutting a tooth right here on this side. He's been a little upset recently. His favorite game is to take his toys and hit them against the window, which we're trying to teach him not to do because he wants to get the attention of the dogs. So I'm sorry about the glare over here, guys, but um, it's because that's our backyard. But this is his main play space. Um, now that he's much more mobile, he never stays here, obviously. And we're usually down here on the floor playing with him. Sawyer. Usually I would pick him up and redirect him, but now we're filming a video. So, um, yeah, he is doing awesome. He, after the, okay, maybe third time's a charm. So he is now, he is not crawling. We are working on it with his um, physical therapist, but um, so far right now he's just kind of, um, doing um, like the, you know, crab walking on his butt and he can go in both circles, um, left, right, right to left. Um, it's impossible to keep him still. Um, it was a sad day. We had to pack up, wash and pack up his baby bathtub because he was just, he would wiggle from side to side, but he didn't have a lot of freedom of motion in there and he wasn't laying down in the bath at all anymore. And um, he's just a growing strong boy. So, we had to pack up the baby bathtub and now he only takes baths in the big boy bathtub. So that was a sad day for mommy. But um, you see him back there. That's one of his favorite activities when he's not hitting things against our back window. He is sitting here and not reading, but reading. Um, he just picks up the book, delicate as you please, and just sits there and switches the pages, looks at his favorite pictures. Um, his, some of, he does have favorite books and he goes to them all the time and he has favorite pictures within those books and he will get to that page and just look and look and look and look and look until he's bored and he'll move on, um, either to another toy or to more books. <laughs> um, but he, that's his favorite thing to do. So 
that hitting things against the, the back windows. Um, he is, we're pretty sure that his two first words are dada and hi. I don't know. I, I'm pretty positive hi is very clearly being said, but he kind of calls everyone dada. I mean, you know, it, it, it's just the, the easiest to say, but Brian always says I'm just trying to take that away from him. But um, so his official two first words are hi and dada. Um, he's not saying mama. He's not, you know, saying, he's saying a lot of consonants. The, the, I mean, but he's not saying true words yet. Um, after his pneumonia case, when he turned one, um, remember he did stop eating mostly, even though he was eating so much before. Um, he was eating so well. We were even talking about cutting back his, uh, his pump feeds because he is still being fed mostly through the G-tube. Um, but he was eating so much. We thought we could cut that back and then he got pneumonia and stopped eating. But now he, um, is just starting to eat eek into eating again. He's just starting to get comfortable with it. Um, we're going to be starting seeing his feeding, a, a new feeding therapist. It took a while to get an appointment and set up and everything. So, um, but we are doing that. Um, I don't know what he's doing now. Oh, he's reading a book. Um, but yeah, so he's just getting big and still blonde in some lights it still does look a little red but um most of the time it's just blonde obviously he did not get that from me with my dark hair um but yeah he's doing really really well uh he has just recently within this last week started to really figure out the walker um, he was never really interested before. He didn't really get the whole forward motion thing, but now his legs are stronger and, um, I don't even know if his physical therapist really like him using the walker, but he is putting weight on his legs and getting the idea of moving himself around. So he is actually enjoying it, um, a lot. So, you know, I mean, he's not super mobile in that, but he does still like little, um, turns in that. He has just learned how to drum. Um, at the physical therapist so that's the drum is full of other musical instruments but he does like to hit the lid he also likes to take off the lid and like a plate and hold it up against his face like a plate of glass it's super funny <laughs> but yeah so um that's Sawyer uh he is big and growing and thriving the only news that we did get um recently is we did have his follow-up appointment with his cardiologist it has been about eight or nine months since we saw them. They said that it would probably be a year before we had to see them again, and it actually just been, oh, was under a year. So um, when we were there, they did the whole echocardiogram. We did an EKG, and his EKG was perfect. However, um, back in December, we um, were told that um, Sawyer's, um, his patch on his heart, on his VSD and ASD, were that they, they were they were done really well. However, there still was a slight leak in the in fluid going um, blood going between the um, chambers that wasn't exactly supposed to be doing that. And we were hoping that with time it would just you know close on its own because many times it does, and many times you can live your entire life with that and it it doesn't affect you at all. However, in Sawyer's case, um, it does look like that leakage has actually gotten a little bit bigger. So it's leaking a little more. It's not dangerous. Um, his EKG was perfect. Really, um, it's it's not seeming to affect him anymore at, at all. He's gaining weight. However, you know, it just wasn't good news that it was getting a little bit worse than it was getting better because that could potentially mean that in his toddler years before five he will probably have to have another heart surgery so that's never something you want to hear i cried when i heard it but the cardiologist basically was just saying this is good news you know it, he's still doing really well and it does it doesn't seem to be affecting him at all right now so let's you know we're trying to hope that Again, it, within, he wants to see us again in another year. So that's a long time for, you know, it, he must have faith that it's that it's not that big of a deal or he would want to correct it sooner. So he wants to see us in a year and see if it's gotten bigger or maybe if it has gotten smaller because it still does have the possibility to shrink. So that wasn't the best news. But um, other than that, everything about Sawyer's health is going really well. Um, 
it has taken a long time for us to get his the right formula combination down um, with him trying to you know get him to go to the bathroom and not spit up as much so um, we did find a formula that works for us um, and we're still trying to introduce some of the foods that he used to love um, but yeah he's he's doing great growing really strong big and um, making good strides he can now sit on a stool and pull himself up and we're um he's getting better and better at pulling himself up even from the completely sitting um on the floor and not on a stool and so he's getting so much better at that and um physically you know we can't keep him in one spot and generally he's a very happy baby and very easy to please um so and the fact that he loves books i mean I, I love that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, health stats. He loves books. He is, you know, he will go through phases where he likes some toys more than others. And it's just crazy to watch him develop and become like a little person with preferences. And, um, he doesn't like us to rock him to sleep anymore. He was a, he was a baby who needed to be rocked. And now he's just, he is I, I've said it before. He's what we call a sleep ninja in this house. He will never stay. You lay him down in bed this way, and he goes whoa, 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 upside down, flip, 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 flip. And in bed, you know, in the morning, he's upside down, backwards, and sideways. <laughs> so, yeah. But it was a sad day when I realized that he really just wants to be snuggled for a minute, and then he wants to be laid down in his bed so that he can find himself a comfortable spot. We're also working on not hitting other people, not himself, because he's uh, he's turning into a little bit of a hitter right now. But we are working on all of those things. So um, he was kind of in the video the whole time. I'm sorry that we got interrupted a few times. I'm going to piece these things together and hopefully upload them within the next few days. So um, I hope that the next lawyer update is not as far in the future as this one was. Old stinker. Just that's one of his favorite books too. It's just a picture of like a hundred words or something, and he just loves it. Just flipping, book to book to book to book to book. And some of his favorite books are almost completely destroyed. Like their their spines are all messed up and ripped apart. Like some of them we're probably gonna have to repurchase because he's not done liking those books but they're almost completely destroyed. Like there's a book that's a little square and there's, it's got a little finger puppet in it. With, it's called Huggle Buggle and he has destroyed that poor book. That little Huggle Buggle, man. I'm surprised that that little finger puppet's still attached. <laughs> All right, ladies. Um, thanks so much for watching and for being interested in my little boy's life. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just, you know, living life. Um, doing things. I wish I, I keep meaning to show you guys his room, but I keep forgetting. So I will try to do that soon. Hopefully when it's clean. All right, ladies. Sawyer, can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye? Sawyer, can you say bye-bye? See, he said hi to you guys and now he won't say bye-bye. He's busy eating his dog, mom. Gosh. All right. Bye, ladies.